you look within this consumer sentiment numbers, there also is the sentiment for home buyers, right? Because home buyers are consumers, right? They're consuming homes. And if you look at home buyer sentiment, it collapsed. It is now at the weakest it's been since 1983. Now, remember, in 1983, we were in a big recession, right? We were in the worst recession at that time since the Great Depression because, you know, interest rates went up to 20%. And so back then, mortgage interest rates were like, I don't know, 13, 14% if you wanted to get a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. So clearly, home buyers didn't have a lot of optimism when they were looking at mortgage interest rates that high. Well, here we are in 2021, mortgage interest rates are an all time record low. Given that, we now have home buyers as pessimistic about their chances of buying a home as they were in 1983 when mortgage interest rates were at record highs. So why are Americans so worried about buying a home when mortgage interest rates are at record lows? It's because home prices are at record highs and going higher and higher. And so it doesn't even matter at this point that you have a record low interest rate because you have to borrow so much money to buy a house that even though you're financing it at rock bottom rights, the actual mortgage payment, because you're borrowing so much more to buy the home, is higher than people can afford. So home buyer sentiment is collapsing. Interestingly enough, home builder sentiment is still like at record highs. So the home builders don't get it. They're happy to build these homes because they see the prices going up. And this is, oh, well, this is great. I'm going to build a bunch of homes. But what they don't understand is their customers can't afford these high-priced homes that they're building. But, you know, a lot of times when you're in a bubble, right, you don't get it. The home builders are notorious for overbuilding at the peak and not at the bottom. And so they don't get it. They see the prices going up. They see the construction costs going way up, but they still are building anyway, and they're making a mistake. And soon, home builder sentiment is going to have to catch up with home buyer sentiment when these builders discover that their customers can't afford to buy their products. And then they are going to stop building. And what's going to happen when home builders stop building? Well, they're also going to stop employing all these construction workers, which has been one of the bright spots in the job market. You still have people on the job in construction. Well, these guys are going to lose their jobs because you can't build a home that people can actually afford to buy. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that the whole real estate market is going to crash because you're going to have a smaller supply of homes to buy and the homes that are already built are going to have a much greater value because of how expensive it would be to replace them because of all the raw material costs or the labor costs that have gone way up you can't build a new home that means the value of the homes that are already here is going to be greater but it also means of course that the cost of maintaining those homes is also going to be greater so it's going to be more expensive for homeowners Uh, to maintain their homes, and that's all part of this inflation process. But it is the accelerating price of homes that is now causing the weakness in the home buying market. So how is the Fed going to solve this problem by creating more inflation? If we end up getting a softer economy and we get fewer construction jobs and the solution is, well, let's print more money. Well, now you're just going to create even more inflation and you're just rubbing salt in a wound. The Peter Schiff Show.